Hey guys, it's the Investment Guru here. I'll start this off by saying sorry for the lack of content over the past few months. I've had a handful of private issues that I've had to deal with. Nonetheless, I'm back to help educate and inform the community on everything crypto. Today we're going over the state of Phoenix community capital and its potential future. I know a lot of FUD is floating around and a lot of people have lost hope, but hopefully I can restore some faith. I'd like to make it clear that I'm not part of the PCC team, and as most of you would know, I'm an investor myself. If you can step back a bit and visualize what the future can look like, PCC's future actually looks bright. And here's why. The first things first, what happened to FIRE's price? So I think the first thing would be community FUD. A lot of people brought in at the height of FIRE's price, leading to an upset community. This led to a massive sell-off, which saw a rapid decline in FIRE's price due to supply and demand, oversupply issues, were counted once PCC cut rewards, but the demand slowed as price moved down. Another issue would be the crypto crash. As many as you are aware, crypto has been hit hard. AVEX dropped 91% from its all-time high 200 days ago. As the FIRE token is built off AVEX, this has led to a natural decline in FIRE's price. Third thing, amongst others, would be the DeFi crash. A lot of projects have declined significantly, or rug pulled, which has led to a mass FUD around the DeFi space. Elixir, Univ Money, OxyFi are three projects I was personally invested in, which have since failed. This is a hard pill to swallow, but a valuable lesson for going into the future. So I've just brought up the price uh, screener, so the deck screener for Fire versus AVAX. So obviously it's quite concerning where it's dropped from 800 all the way down to $2.60. Um, as I said, people probably bought a lot into this hype. Um, but yeah, I th personally, with all this uh, volume dropping off, it shows that the hype, as I said, has slowed down um, extremely, especially down the low here. No one's buying um, and there's no volume. So that sort of indicates that, yeah, the hype's dead. Um, people have looked the other way. So we really need utility to um, come to the market to be able to drive it up. But um yeah, as I said, it's concerning, but FIRE's price only indicates the health of the utility token, and it's not a direct reflection of the health of the PCC ecosystem. Once utility arrives, besides buying FIRE for nest creation, we should see price appreciation. Market cap is also extremely low, as you can see up the top here, 2.17 million, and has a lot of room to grow once the sister projects are fully functional. Next is why I'm still bullish on fire. So PCC still have five to six projects to launch. Swapsicle is fully functional and have returned PCC's initial 60K investment back to the treasury. Uh, by saying fully functional, is fully launched, but it's still got a long way to grow. Future airdrops or future fire utility will help push the demand for PCC's native token fire. Demand brings price up, which will ignite hype once again. Current crypto markets and the decline of AVEX, FIRE's native token, have led to mass fear within the crypto community. Despite this, PCC are working harder than ever to bring the initial vision to life. Uh, partnerships are also being made and marketing in T1 publishers are planned for the near future. Weekly updates are still rolling out, informing the community about what PCC have been doing behind the scenes and hosting weekly animes answering the community's questions. PCC have only been out for six months and extremely new. If PCC are able to pull through the tough times, they will thrive when the crypto market recovers. So now we're going to go over some of the projects that have partnered with FIRE. So the first one is Swapsicle. You can see that it is fully functional at the moment. So you can swap tokens um, on the AVEX network. For example, AVEX the FIRE. It's basically like Trader Joe, but um, the profits a percentage of the profits go towards the fire nest holders. Um, you've also got liquidity pools, farms, and ice cream van. If you want me to go into more detail um, on how this all works, I can in a future video. But um, for now, I'm just going to briefly go over each project. The other project that we've got is Combat Waffle Studios. It's a very exciting project, and I think will bring a lot of hype to fire once it's all um, said and done. So it looks very very cool, very like a uh, Call of Duty, but it's going to be built off the Fire token. Uh, it's, I think it's aiming to be a virtual reality project, um, and yeah, I think it's very exciting for the future. It says 185 days, so it's about half a year, 
until it'll be launched. But um, yeah, another six months, and I think this could really bring some more excitement to the fire community. The other one's Billy Drop. I think this is very interesting. It's basically like a lottery system. Um, you can go down here and see sort of the timeline of what they're, they're wanting to do. Um, you've got NFT launch, GOAT game, very interesting, um, the lottery, and etc. There's a lot more to come. But um, yeah, I really like the way they're going about it. I think they're, you know, it's a bit more of a fun take on the company uh, that one of their leaders were in the recent AMA and yeah she was she was fun she was making a lot of puns and I think it will bring um yeah a, a lot of new investors into the scene as well the other one it hasn't been talked about much but I believe that Five have done a takeover for Gamery so they bought it out um this is what it, the, the website used to be um so it's going to be developed beyond this but um yeah, it's very interesting. Interesting. It's like uh, virtual properties uh, in the metaverse. Um, you can develop your own metaverse land, for example, NFT minting, etc. Uh, yeah, there should be a lot more to come with all these projects. Uh, it gives you a little spiel here. But uh, yeah, if if you want me to go through more detail in each of these projects, let me know down below, and uh, I can dive in. But at the moment, we just want to focus on PCC. Lastly, uh, what should we do now? So, first things first, stay up to date with community updates. This will allow some peace of mind as you'll be able to understand what is being planned and where they are up to in the development phases. Keep accumulating your fire tokens. Either create new nodes or store your fire for when prices are a profitable price again. If you're down considerably on your investment, then compounding into new nodes would be your best bet, not financial advice. This is hard to do as you're worried about future monthly fees, but if you're invested in at the first place, I'd hope you understand the complete vision of PCC and realize we are not even at 2% of where this project will be in the future. Find new cash flows in the real world to help buy into low cryptocurrency entry points. I'm not just saying that for fire, but cryptocurrency as a whole, if you believe in the vision of where cryptocurrency can take the world or where it will be in the future, then this is essentially a no-brainer. Whether you work more hours or pick up a new job, this will allow you to grow your portfolio to a point where you're prepared for the next bull run in the cryptocurrency market. Stay positive. Although times are tough and 98% of our portfolios have been hit extremely hard, I hope that we can all pull a valuable lesson from this crash and use those lessons for our future selves. If you hit rock bottom, remember rock bottom is a perfect place to build a solid future. So now I'm just going to show you uh, the Phoenix Community Capital Discord, uh, where to go to keep up to date. So first things first would be announcements. Um, you know, that's where you're going to get the bulk of the new content or the new updates. Another thing that would be important are the AMA replays. So this is the full replay. They usually go for about an hour. Um, they're very in-depth, but if you don't have enough time, to watch an hour video, you can simply go to the recap and yeah, it basically gives you a, f a fully comprehensive recap um, of yeah, basically what happened in the AMA. So this is only, you know, five to 10 minute read, depends how quick you're at reading. But um, yeah, this sort of, if you're already invested and you feel like there's nothing else you can do, stay up to date, stay in the know. And I think this will help put a little bit of peace of mind um, especially if you're down a lot uh, when it comes to investing. Last but not least, thanks guys for watching. Hope you've gained some hopeful thinking from this video. Remember nothing is financial advice and it's all personal opinion. Always, and I mean always, do your own research and invest what you're willing to lose. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to either answer them or point you in the right direction. Also, if you have any suggestions or recommend uh, content, feel free to let me know as it helps steer the channel in the right direction. And 99% of the comments I will read and get back to you. Just know I made this channel for the community and to help you guys out um, to be well informed and also try to make your own best decisions of how to go forward. All right. Thanks, guys.